one generation, yeah. We're one generation. We'll declare your works to another, yeah. One generation, Lord, oh. Yes, one generation will declare your words to another. Yeah. One generation will declare your praise and your words to another. One generation will praise your words to another. This is Psalm 145. I want you to get your Bible. We open the second week of our year 2021 with one of the greatest psalms ever, Psalm 145, chock full a profound revelation in this verse. Verse four, yeah, Psalm 145, one generation. And one generation will praise your works to another. Are you sure? Absolutely. It says it right here, Psalm 145, 4. It's one generation will praise your words to another. I love it. One generation. Yeah. And one generation will praise your work, declare your words to another. Isn't it awesome? generation to generation said, and one generation will declare your works they're praising your works to another another generation declaring and praising out loud your wonderful acts Declaring and praising all your wonderful deeds. <laughs> Second week of the year. Oh, Psalm 145 in all of its glory and magnificence. They praise and declare your works to another generation yes they do it's the way that your presence and worship works declarative praise and worship they talk about they sing about your mighty deeds and all your mighty acts Lord you guys ready come on now yeah 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 and one generation will praise your words out loud to another generation. That's what we're doing right here today, Lord. Yeah. Yes, one generation will praise your works out loud to another. one generation they praise out loud and another generation grabs the mightiness of who you are and all your wonderful deeds yeah. oh. one generation will praise your words to another oh I love it I've taught it for many years and they declare with their heart and their worship, O oh Lord, your awesome deeds, your mighty works, the power of who you are. 
and they declare, they talk out loud, and they sing their worship, and another generation hears about who you are and the works and the mighty, mighty deeds of the, we will praise it into another generation. Thanks for being prophetic today, Kent. <laughs> We will praise it into another generation, yeah, yeah. We praise and worship you and your mighty deeds into another generation. Through praise and worship they hear us declaring your mighty deeds and the power of who you are. One generation will praise your works right into the heart of the other generation, generation. Yes, one generation will praise your works right into the heart of the next one, the, the other generation, Lord. Ah, ah, ah. One generation will praise your works into the hearts of the others. Woo! When you praise it, because this is our testimony, you guys. This is the power of who we are and what we do in the name, in the name, in the name of G and the mighty deeds of the Lord past generation to generation in Psalm 145 says it's through the praise of Almighty God. These scriptures in here are awesome. The song of God's majesty and love. This is a praise of David. It doesn't say a prayer. Psalm 145, I will extol and praise you, O God, my King. Verse 2, and every day what are you going to do? I'm going to bless you. Verse 4, until one generation praises your works and your mighty deeds to another. Amen. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Oh, he's slow to anger. This is repeated in the New Testament, and he's great in mercy. Thank God. He's slow to anger and great in mercy. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. So... In our 20 verses today, Psalm 145, get your hard copy Bible open, get your media device ready. It's marking a brand new year. Um, Carly, you want to pray us in? our songs of we promise to be diligent God to train up our children in the way that they should go yeah. we want to pass on your will and your ways and your word and your kingdom and everything about you to the next generation and the next generation and the next so that your promises can be fulfilled not just by us but for ten generations to come oh my God. we thank you for it Lord every day Give us insight and instruction because your word is insight and instruction for our lives, for our everyday lives, God. Give us wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Jesus Christ as we approach your word today. Psalm 145, main verses we're going to highlight are I will extol and praise you, my God, O King. Verse 2, every day I will bless you. 4, one generation shall praise your works to another. 8, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. And 13, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Verse 1 and 2. I will extol you and praise you, my God, O King. I will bless your name forever and ever. 
every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. I will lift my praise above everything to you, my God and my King. I will continually bless your name forever and always. My praise will never cease. I will praise you every day. I will lift up your name forever. With gratitude and submissive wonder, will I, I will bless your name forever. I will honor your name forever and ever. I will honor you every day and praise your name forever and ever. I will lift you up on high, God, my God. I will lift you high in praise, O oh my King. I will bless your name forever and always into eternity. I will bless you every day. I will praise wow. your name forever and always. Yes. I will keep up my praise from now all the way into eternity. And the passion says, my heart explodes with praise to you. <laughs> Now and forever, my heart bows in worship to you, my King and my God. Every day I will lift up my praise to your name with praises that will last throughout eternity. My heart explodes. Yes, my heart explodes with my praise unto you, O oh Lord. My heart explodes I'm full of praise unto you. Yes, my heart explodes with all my praise to you. And every day, every day I will lift up. Every day I will lift up my praises to you. Every day I will lift up my praises to you. Uh, yeah, well, every day I will lift up, every day I will lift up all my praises to you. Yeah, every day. What you say, Kent? I'm singing verse two. Every day I will bless you. Every day and every hour, every minute I'll be praising you. Every day and every hour, even every minute I will be found praising you. Every day, every hour, every minute I'll be found praising you. Every day hour I'll be found praising you I'll be praising every day I bless you my God and my King <laughs> and every day I bless you and that awesome verses one and two were well underway verses three and four Great, great is the Lord, <laughs> and greatly to be praised. What a line, you guys. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight incredible words. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. Great is the Lord. Settle on it for a minute greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable don't we love that beyond our understanding one generation will praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts God it's unsearchable your greatness that's why it will live on age after age glorifying the Lord Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And 
your greatness, Lord, is unsearchable beyond our understanding, especially on this earth. One generation will praise your works to another and declare your mighty act. The eternal is great. And this is what he deserves, endless praise. This is the voice translation. He deserves endless praise. I say yes, Lord. We agree. Woo! Your greatness knows no limit. It recognizes no boundaries. Oh, hear it again. The eternal is great and deserves endless praise. Your greatness knows no limit, Lord and recognizes no boundary. No one can measure or comprehend your magnificence. And then verse four, one generation after another, they're gonna celebrate your great works. They will pass on the story of your powerful acts to their children. Hear that again. This generation will pass on the story of your powerful acts to their children and to their children's children. Great is Yahweh and worthy to be heartily praised. His greatness cannot be measured. And then one generation will command and commend praise and entrust your works to another. They're actually entrusting the power of your testimony, Lord, to another. And they set forth singing and worshiping all about your mighty deeds. Wow. Lord, you are great and worthy of the highest praise. For there is no end to the discovery of your greatness, the greatness that surrounds you. Wow, take a minute, you guys. Woo! Lord, you are so very great and worthy of the highest praise. For there is no end to the discovery of the greatness that surrounds you. Generation after generation will declare more of your greatness and declare more of your glory and then they'll sing and declare more of your greatness and then they'll declare more of your glory here at one more time these generations of believers will declare more of your greatness and they'll declare more of your glory hallelujah Verse 5, 6, and 7. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall eagerly utter the memory of your great goodness. They bubble forth with it and will sing of your righteousness. They will speak the magnificence of the glory of your holiness. Wow. They will declare all your marvelous deeds. And they will tell the strength of your tremendous and frightening acts. And they shall tell of your greatness. They will bring forth the remembrance of the abundance, the sweetness of your goodness. And they shall sing with rejoicing, telling with full out joy about your righteousness. Your magnificent splendor and the miracles of your majesty are my constant meditation. They have captivated me. I will meditate on your wonders, singing songs of your worth. Your awe-inspiring acts of power have everyone talking. I'm telling people everywhere about your excellent greatness. Wow. Wow. There is nothing greater than you, God. Nothing mightier than your awesome Jeez. works. Our hearts bubble over as we celebrate the fame of your marvelous beauty, bringing bliss to our hearts. 
We shout with ecstatic joy over your breakthrough for us. We sing songs of joy to celebrate your righteousness. Wow. Back to the Amplified. We are singing of your magnificence and the glory of your holiness. We declare to all your marvelous deeds, your marvelous deeds. And we are singing of your magnificence, God, and the glory of your holiness. And we continue to declare your mighty deeds, your mighty deeds, mighty deeds. Oh, well, we are singing of your magnificence, about the glory of your holiness, yeah. We keep declaring all your mighty deeds, mighty deeds, oh, mighty deeds, yeah. We keep singing out your magnificence, all about the glory of your holiness. We declare out loud all your marvelous deeds, yeah. We're singing out your magnificence all about the glory of your holiness we are declaring all your mighty deeds your mighty deeds yeah. we're singing out your magnificence and all about the glory of your holiness we declare out loud your mighty deeds You're marvelous in your mighty deed. I love the passion says our hearts are bubbling over as we celebrate the fame of your marvelous beauty. Aren't your hearts just, but my heart bubbles over. That's why I want to stay in worship all day long, all month long, all week long, man, because my heart's bubbling over. Verses 8, 9, and 10. You guys ready? What a psalm. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He's slow to anger, but very great in mercy. Wow. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercy are over all his works. All your works praise you, Lord, and your saints will bless you. Yes. All your works praise you, Lord, and your saints bless you. Isn't that marvelous? He, Yahweh, is merciful. He's tender-hearted and slow to anger. Wow. Wow very loving, universally kind. Yahweh's tenderness embraces all his creatures. You're kind and tender-hearted, even to those who don't deserve it. Oh, man. Thank God you're kind, Lord, and tender-hearted to those who don't even deserve it. And you show mercy even to us, your people. How beautiful is that? Got to move my old, song, my old chart here. You are very patient with people who fail you. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing, overflowing its banks with kindness. God, everyone sees your goodness for your tender love is blended into everything you do. Okay, hold up, man. Hear it again. God, everyone sees your goodness for your tender love is blended into everything that you do. The eternal's goodness is not exclusive. It is offered freely to all. Thank you, Lord. And then the passion says everything you have made will praise you fulfilling its purpose all of creation will stand in awe of you O eternal one and all your godly lovers will be found 
bowing before you, everyone sees your goodness. Your tender love is blended into everything you do. I love it. Your tender love, your tender love is blended into everything you do. Your tender, your tender love is blended into everything you do. I love it. Yeah, your tender, your tender love is blended into everything you do. <laughs> yeah, it's such of a truth of the nature of our God. Yeah, your tender, your tender love is blended into everything you do, Jesus. You showed us the Father's heart and the Father's person in your earthly ministry. Tender, tender, tender love is blended into everything, everything you are and everything you do. Your tender, your tender love is blended into everything, everything. Verses 11, 12, and 13. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. They will not be silent. They will talk of the grandeur of your kingdom and celebrate the wonder of your power until everyone on earth who has ears to hear knows your valiant acts and the splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom will never end and your rule will endure forever. They will tell the world of the lavish splendor of your kingdom and preach about your limitless power. They will demonstrate for all to see your miracles of might and reveal the glorious majesty of your kingdom. You are the Lord who reigns over your never-ending kingdom. Wow. Through all the ages of time and eternity, you are faithful to fulfill every promise you've made. You manifest yourself as kindness in all you do. Wow, three verses. We are speaking of the glory of your kingdom. Singing of your power, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, Lord, and your, your dominion endures to every generation. Yes, your kingdom endures forever. We are singing and speaking of your glory and talking of your power to make known your deeds to the sons of men. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion lasts to all generations. Your kingdom, I love this, I need this deeper in my own heart. What about you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your kingdom is an everlasting, everlasting kingdom. And your dominion, Lord, endures to all generations. Your, your kingdom is everlasting kingdom I love that and your dominion father endures to all generations your kingdom is a kingdom 
everlasting, enduring forever. Oh, love it. On your worst day, you can take that simple little scripture, 13, simple but profound, and go, Lord, I may not feel good today. It might not look like roses or something out there, but your kingdom come, your will be done. It's an everlasting kingdom. I'm, I've got alignment with the living God. I've got an alignment with a holy God, and it's all going to work out in the name of Jesus. Verses 14 and 15. The Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all who look expectantly to you, Lord, you give them their food in due season. Oh, say it again, Ken. Okay. The Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. And Lord, you give them their food in due season. Wow. And the voice says, the eternal sustains all who stumble on their way. For those who are broken down, God is near. He raises them up in hope. Oh, wow. All eyes have turned towards you, Lord waiting in expectation and when they are hungry you feed them right on time all eyes have turned towards you Lord waiting in expectation when they are hungry you feed them right on time and the weak and the feeble ones you will sustain those bent over with burdens of shame you will lift up you have captured our attention Lord and the eyes of all look to you you give what they hunger for at just the right time you've captured our attention and the eyes of all look to you Lord Upon you uphold all who are falling, God, and you raise them up in hope. You raise them up in hope. You sustain, Lord. You uphold all who fail. Raised up in hope, Lord, you raise them up in hope, yeah. you sustain those who fail and fall, Lord, and you raise them up in hope, oh my God, you raise them up in hope, yeah. you sustain all those who fall, we look and all eyes are looking to you. All eyes are looking at you. Oh, I love that line. Everyone is looking. We all look to you. You, yeah. All the eyes are looking to you. Looking at you, Lord. You sustain us. Looking at you, Lord. You sustain us. And that's why we keep looking to you. Looking to you, Lord. Looking to you. Isn't it beautiful? Verses 16 and 17. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, 
gracious in all his works. The desires of every living thing are met by your open hand. The eternal is right in all his ways, and he is kind in all his acts. When you open your generous hand, it's full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. You are fair and righteous in everything you do, and your love is wrapped into all your works. Check it, you guys. Your open hand satisfies the desire satisfies the desire of every living thing. Your open hand satisfies the desire of every living th I'm going to stay right there. Get this in your spirit today. I said your open hand satisfies the desire of every living thing. Come on, sing it out loud. Well, your open hand, Lord, satisfies the desire, oh my God, of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways, gracious in all your works, righteous in all your ways, it's who you are. You are righteous in all your ways, gracious in all your works, you are righteous in all your ways. It's who you are. You open your hand, Lord. You open your hand, Lord. And satisfy the desire of every living. You open, your, Lord, this is how big and awesome you are. Will you open your hand, oh Lord, and satisfy the desire of every, of every living thing. So meditate on it for a minute. And then verses 18 and 19. The Lord is near. What? The Lord is near to all who call upon him. To all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear and revere him. He also will hear their cry and save them. Wow. We mark our day, our week, our, our month and year with this stuff, Lord. Psalm 145, the eternal stays close to those who call on him those who pray sincerely, all of you who revere him, God will satisfy your desires. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. Woo. He hears the cries for help and he brings salvation. The Lord is close to all who call upon him. Yes, to all who call upon him in truth. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help. And he rescues them. You draw near, Lord, to those who call out to you, listening closely. Especially when their hearts are true. Everyone 
of your godly lovers receives even more than what they ask for. Hear it again. Every one of your godly lovers, Lord, receives even more than what they ask for. For you have heard what their hearts really long for, and you bring them your saving string. Last two verses, 20 and 21. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. All of you who love God, he will watch out for you, but total destruction is around the corner for all the wicked. My lips will sing the praise of the eternal. Let every creature join me and praise the holy name of God forever and always. God, you watch carefully over your lovers like a bodyguard, but you will destroy the ungodly. I will praise you, Lord. Let everyone everywhere join me in praising the beautiful Lord of holiness from now through eternity. I will praise you, Lord. Let everyone everywhere join me. We will praise you, Lord. Let everyone everywhere join me. translation I will praise you Lord let everyone everywhere join me I will praise you Lord let everyone everywhere join me in that beautiful Everyone everywhere join me together in unity and I will we will praise you Lord let everyone everywhere join me see my mouth will speak of your praise Lord and all flesh will bless your holy name and that is Forever and ever they'll do that. And all of you who love God, he will watch out and over you. But total destruction is just around the corner for the wicked. Better get right, bro. Better get right. Because my lips, my lips sing your praise. Let every creature join me. Praise the holy name and praise the holy name and praise the holy name of our God forever and ever. Well, let's praise his holy name. Let's praise his holy name. We'll praise your holy name forever and ever. Your holy name, we praise your holy name forever. And if oh, it's a long time, but I love it, we praise forever <laughs> and ever. Yeah. Let me see the hearts and thumbs flying. If you love Psalm 145. We are in a good place with the Lord, you guys. We did this on purpose today. I believe it was the hand of the Lord. In the second week of a new year, 2021, 
And I've got one more song I want to do. I'm dedicating it to all my buddies out there, everybody watching right now, anybody on Restream or Restreamed uh, sections, you're watching this. This, again, is a song It's come up a number of times in my heart. I just could not get to it, but it's called Desert Song. The same girl, well, young woman of God, I should say, that wrote the song Hosanna, wrote this song. And I'm going to speak the lyrics out loud to you and over you. Because sometimes people are in a wilderness journey, not fun. But we cling to the Lord. Desert song. I, I love it that Brooke Frazier wrote this and said, hey, look, sometimes you're going to go through hard stuff. So she said, this is my prayer in the desert when all that within me feels dry. Now, I know that's never happened to you, but it has happened to me and Brooke, <laughs> Brookie. <laughs> well, I know it's happened to all of us. This is my prayer in the desert when all that within me feels dry. This is my prayer in my hunger and need. My God is the God who provides. My God is the God who provides. This is my prayer when I'm in the fire in weakness and trial or in pain. Check this now. There is a faith proved of more worth than gold. Refine me, Lord, through the flame. And I will sing praise. And I will sing praise. And no weapon formed against me shall remain. And I will rejoice. And I will declare, God is my victory, and he is here. The chorus, I will bring praise, Psalm 145, I will bring praise, no weapon formed against me shall remain, and I will rejoice. I will declare God is my victory and he is right here. God is my victory and you're right here. And God is my victory and you are right here. Now check out the bridge. And all of my life, in every season, you are still God. And I have a reason to sing. And I have a reason to worship. Man, this thing is so good. <laughs> every phrase, every word. All of my life, in every season, Lord, you are still God. And I have a reason to sing. And I have a reason to worship. Do that much again. In every season, you are still God, and I have a reason to, I've got a reason to sing. I have a, because God is my victory, and this is my prayer in the desert, when all that within me feels dry. This is my prayer in my hunger and need. Oh, yeah. My God is the God who provides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is my prayer in the fire and out. Weakness in trial or in pain. There is a faith proved of more worth than gold. Refine me, Lord, through the flame, and I will bring praise, and 
and I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain, and I will rejoice, and I will declare, God is my victory, and you are here, and I will bring praise, I will bring praise, no weapon formed against me shall remain. And I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and He is here. My victory, I know you're here, Lord, now. My victory, now check it out. The next part of the second verse, this is my prayer in the battle. This is my prayer in the battle when triumph is still on its way. I am a conqueror, core heir with Christ, so firm on your promise. Check it out, this is my prayer. This is my prayer in the battle When triumph is still on its way hey, yeah. I am a conqueror, co-heir with Christ So firm on your promise I'll, I gotta do it one more time And this is my prayer in the battle when triumph is still on its way. I am a conqueror and co-heir with, what'd you say, I am a conqueror. I am a conqueror and co-heir with, one more time. I am a conqueror and co-heir with Christ. So firm on your promise I'll stand. And I will sing praise, I will sing praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. And I will rejoice, and I will declare, God is my victory, and you are right here. Yeah, and I will bring praise. I will bring praise No weapon formed against me shall remain And I will rejoice And I will declare I love it God is my victory And He is here And here's the bridge it could have been over. She did an excellent job. There's even another part of a verse, but we're going to go right for this. And all of my life, in every season, Lord, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. All of my life, all of my life, in every season, you are still God. And I have a reason I'm going to be singing, Lord. Well, I have a reason to worship, yeah. still God and I have a reason to sing I have a reason to worship come on do it again yeah and all of my life in every season 
You are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason. I have a reason, Lord. I have a reason to worship. And I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. And I will rejoice. And I will declare. God is my victory and you are here. Come on, lift it up. And I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. And I will rejoice. And I will declare. God is my victory, and He is victory, and you're with me, Lord. You are my victory, and you're right here, right here. Isn't that beautiful? It's awesome. Loving it, man. Again, being led by the Holy Spirit, guys. I've got a couple uh, really cool teachings I'm working on won't be so much in the words of Jesus or the Psalms, but uh, they're, they're very powerful. I got Key of David just like slammed me like Sunday morning, seriously, Key of David, Revelation. He holds the Key of David, which he said, when I open, no man will shut. <laughs> Thank God. And when I shut it, no man's going to open. This is huge for a, a group, a co community like us that uses worship, prayer, and intercession and intimacy you know, to break down the kingdom of darkness. We're still doing it. We will stay after it until our, our last breath or until he comes again. <laughs> it's really good. So uh, I hopefully take this. And again, uh, Psalm 145, verse 1, I will extol you and praise you. I'm not sure where Brooke, Brooke wrote the song from, but no weapon formed against me. Maybe somebody was teaching a, a series or something or a couple Sundays, and she grabbed a hold of that. I love it. Make sure you look that up and stay in Psalm 145. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. God bless you guys. We remain steadfast and unmovable in the Lord. I will not be shaken, and neither will you. God bless.